What is up YouTube, Trade Mo James here. We're gonna talk about Microvision today, but before I do that, first I wanna apologize for my voice. It's a little bit raspy right now. Woke up with kind of my voice being gone. I made a bunch of videos yesterday and I'm kind of suffering today for that. So before we get into this, make sure you guys hit that like button, all right? Do me a favor, do that. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber and if you are, thank you. <laughs> okay, and make sure you guys hit that notification bell to get notified when I go live. Let's get into this. All right, daily time frame on Microvision. Each candlestick represents one day of time. All right, so what has happened here, guys, is we've broken out of this wedge, right? Uh, this is a wedge we've been talking about for a while. We've been on a downtrend since June 10th, and we've kind of come a long way down, all right? We, we really have, up from about $25 down to about $6.92. That is an insanely big swing, all right? And I know a lot of you are kind of worried about this, but hey, how far down can we go? If we didn't sell at $28, why would we even think about selling down here at $6.90 or whatever? It doesn't make any sense, right? So we're holding the bag here a little bit, but it is what it is, and to be honest with you, the you know, a positive way to look at this is if you do have a higher average, you know, $10 plus, $15 plus, $20 plus for some of you, you've been given a great opportunity by the stock gods to average down and get a great average before the catalyst, all right? And uh, mind you, that's going to happen, all right? It is going to happen. Now, I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not a pro businessman either, but I know that we have the technology. I know what we hold here. And we can't force a deal. Before we jump right into this technical analysis, I want to say this to you guys. We can't force a deal, all right? If Luminar is getting a deal, that's actually good for us. That's good for the LiDAR sector, all right? And if they're landing deals, we can definitely land deals. We have a better we have better scalability. We have a better LiDAR technology. It's smaller. It costs less. We have a better price point. And to be honest with you, we have best in class, uh, you know, spec-wise. So like I said, if Luminar's landing deals, then why can't we? And I think that we will, right? It's up to the OEMs, and a lot of you have to understand this. This is not something that's just gonna happen overnight. It could happen overnight, but it, I don't think it's going to. It's gonna take time, all right? When these OEMs are ready to drop billions, and mind you, it's not gonna be a couple million dollars that they're gonna have to invest. They're gonna have to invest billions of dollars to integrate LiDAR into their vehicles as a safety feature or whatever they're doing it for. It's going to cost them billions of dollars. So they have to be ready. They have to have their roadmap prepared. They have to be ready to drop that kind of money into a company like Microvision or Luminar or whatever. They have to be ready to do that. And there's more than one OEM, right? So there are, I really feel like LiDAR is going to be the future um, of, automa of automated vehicles and just safety features in general. I, I truly believe that, the same as airbags, that they're going to be standardized, and it's just a matter of time before the OEMs are ready to integrate LiDAR into their, you know, into their vehicles, all right? So let's jump into the technical analysis. So right now, we have made a $3 swing from 690, basically, 691, up to about 999, okay, $10, basically. We found resistance at that 975 here, and we did, we have done about a 50% retracement here on this candle, which did a, gave us basically a last kiss, all right? So we broke out of the wedge, found resistance at a key level, and came back down and tested uh, where we broke out of and found support and made another move back up to about 950, which was great. But now for some reason we've came back down and it looks like we're gonna be retesting this golden zone here. All right, and if you don't know what a golden zone is, it is a reversal zone, a 50 to 61.8% retracement zone. By nature, this is a reversal zone. So if we get a test here, this is gonna be a great spot to do whatever you wanna do, scalp, average down, whatever. I wouldn't do it just yet because I do think we're gonna come down maybe in the zone or just the top of it, but I do think we're gonna come down and test the zone again, all right? From there, we're gonna, we will likely find some support, all right? And I think we come back up and retest the 975 here. The key is to get above 975 and close with momentum, all right? We gotta get above that 975. That is the key level. So if you're watching the stock every day, draw a line on 975 and wait for it to close above that. Then you can have your one of your large confirmations of reversal, all right? Because right here, we did test it and we did, you know, we found some resistance here and we came back down. So we're gonna have to get above that 975 and then get above the supply zone. We get above these two things right here. That's gonna be our confirmation. And we're gonna have had, you know, a $6, $7 swing. That's gonna be perfect. And I think that we're gonna be on the road to the upside <clears throat> near after that. Again, I wanna apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit raspy today, uh, but we're gonna have to just push through it, all right? So guys, um, like I said, this golden zone, we gotta find out if it's respected, all right? But typically, out of these wedges, we break out, we retest, and we find a big move to the upside. That's usually what happens. Microvision is a weird stock and the price action is very weird and this is a highly, highly manipulated stock. So, you know, you gotta just, you gotta just be ready for the, the you gotta roll with the punches, all right? It is what it is, but I don't see how much further down this thing can go. 
institutions are not selling that should tell you something all right in fact they're buying so we know they're buying go to fintel and look at the institutional ownership it's very high with this stock all right uh so like i said you know you look at where the institutions are putting their money that's typically where you want to be putting your money because they know things we don't know all right so yeah we're on a downswing but i truly 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 believe that we're going to be back up in the 15 to 20 dollar range in the next couple months probably maybe even sooner than that all right but if we break this golden zone let's talk about short term if we break this golden zone which comes down to about $8.10, we are probably more than likely gonna come down and test this demand zone again, if we break the golden zone. So that's kind of where Microvision is at right now in the price action, in the short-term price action. We gotta just see if this golden zone is gonna hold up. All right, if it does, we could just do something like this and kind of just consolidate here. I mean, that's not the end of the world. Consolidating on a new floor is, you know, it's, 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 it's powerful. We know that this is a new floor if we start doing that. And we're gonna be balancing between 975 and you know, eight eight fifty or whatever, which is not at the end of the world. All right, that's decent. All right, it's, it's decent for coming down here, uh, you know, to six ninety, and worrying that we're going to go to five dollars. Or this this lo this level down here, four eighty. That's uh, you know, it's good news that we're consolidating up here. So we've had a big swing, and we're going to have to wait and see what happens in the near future if we hold up above this golden zone, or if we come in the golden zone, or we break below the golden zone. Those are the three things that can happen. We find support and rip. We consolidate or we break through and retest this demand zone down here. Let's check the uh, RSI on the daily time frame here. About 42 on the RSI. So like I said, we are kind of headed down on the RSI. Now, anything over 30 is considered oversold. Anything over 70 is considered overbought. So if we come down through this golden zone, we're likely going to see the RSI dip down to the 30s and put us in this demand zone, uh, which would set us up for another rip. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. It could happen, it could not happen. Who knows, I can't predict the future, I don't have a crystal ball. All I can do is react to the price action, all right? And right now, as it stands, it looks like we're gonna just be bouncing in between this 975 and this 850 for a little bit until we break out of 975. That's just what it looks like to me. Uh, like I said, take what I say with a grain of salt, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do know price action, and that's what I'm seeing right now, is that it looks like we might just consolidate here a little bit before we break out and do that, but um, you know, it's up in the air, really. We gotta, gotta, gotta find support at this golden zone again. If we don't, we might be in for a ride to the downside, back down into the $6, $7 range, okay? And that's just where we're at. And I'm gonna reiterate this again. Guys, we know what we have, okay? Technology-wise, we got this thing on lock. We got best in class, we have better scalability, we have a better price point. Um, it looks cleaner, it looks better, it performs better, we got better specs. So if Luminar's landing deals is just a matter of time, guys, it's just a freaking matter of time. Now, you, like I said, you've been given a great opportunity here to average down if you have a higher average. I suggest you take that if you're looking to hold this long term. If not, you know, do what you got to do. But if you can, you know, find it in your portfolio to free up some cash flow, some liquidity to get in and average down a little bit before the catalyst, you're going to be making a lot, much, a lot more money when that finally does happen. And I don't think it's going to take 16 months. It could. Summit gave us a 16 month timeline. I think it's probably going to happen before that. It's already been a while. All right, not that we're desperate, but we're ready for those sales. We're ready to, to, to get in the game, right? And uh, it's up to the OEMs. When they're ready to drop the billions on LiDAR, that's when it's gonna happen. Until then, we might have some spot sales, right? But you know, like Summit said, he's not interested really in spot sales. We don't wanna sell a couple of units. We wanna land an OEM partnership deal that's gonna be bringing in cash flow, bringing in liquidity to Microvision uh, on a steady, consistent basis, right? On large volumes of liquidity. So, uh, you know, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm in this for. I don't wanna see very many spot sales either. I'd rather just have a, a partnership deal where we're bringing in liquidity all the time consistently. That's gonna look great on paper. Uh, Microvision has a lot of money in the bank, guys, a lot of money in the bank. And, you know, on paper, it looks like they're ready to just go. All right, everything looks green. The short-term price action, guys, this is a heavily manipulated stock. The shorts are just owning us. They are, they're, they're winning the game. They're not gonna win the war, but they're winning the fight right now. And, uh, you know, until they release and they're ready to make money to the upside, we're probably just gonna keep doing what we're doing. But we've come down to a level where I feel like it's not gonna go much, much further down. How can it, right? We've been on a big, big downtrend since June 10th, all right? We, 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 if you look at this over here, we came up to $28 and had a big swing down. Then we had another big swing up to 25 bucks. And now ever since then, we've just kind of been on a big downtrend on the daily time frame. And we've broken out of the wedge finally uh, here on November 5th, and it's just time to just go, all right? I really feel like in these level, this level right here is, is just a huge, there's a lot of demand in this level and people saw that it went to $28, so why can't it do it again? A lot of people are still buying this. The volume's more than it has been in a while. So people are buying this. And, you know, it it kind of just is what it is. All right, we're going to have to just hold long term. And nobody said this is going to be easy. 
it is going to be a rough ride, all right? It's going to be rough. We knew that. We knew that. We weren't just going to skyrocket and go to $100. That's not how it's going to happen. We're going to have to go through, uh, you know, the the, the turmoil, all right, the, of being in a heavily manipulated stock. We just are. But if you believe in the tech and you believe in the company and you believe in LiDAR in general, this is a great play, all right? Like I said, it's a great play. We have a great opportunity here to average down if you have a higher average and just, you know, hold out for Catalyst. That's really all there is to it. 16 month timeline. I will be reevaluating my position in 16 months, all right? If we don't have anything happen before then. But I honestly think that we're going to and I don't see it taking much more longer than, you know, where we're at now. Because we've already been in the, I've, I've been in the game already a year now, almost a year. So well, it hasn't been a year. How long has it been? Since February. All right, since February. So not quite a year, but you know, and it, it feels like a year, but it has been quite a year. Um, but like I said, guys, short term price action got to hold above this golden zone. Uh, RSI is already, you know, headed down a little low. So we got, you know, it just is what it is. We're going to see what happens here. Okay. So, you know, keep your heads up and, uh, you know, keep an eye on 975. That's going to be a key level in this, in this stock. If we get above 975, you saw what happened over here to the left. 975 tests have us rip out each time so i you know likely if we close above 975 and give ourselves a safe zone above this supply zone price gets up here and closes above here likely gonna have a rip we just probably will that's just how it works and uh you know until then we're gonna have to just ride the waves ride this consolidation or ride the dip down to the demand zone again and retest and you might even get a better opportunity to average down even again guys anything under ten dollars for this is just a great freaking average i'm just gonna be honest with you so it kind of sucks to be in the red, but we know what we hold. All right, so keep your heads up uh, and stay tuned on this channel. We're going to be doing a lot more stuff coming up in the near future. Crypto, other stocks we haven't talked about. My, o my OTC game is strong right now. I'm invested in DPLS, CYBL, Fern. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm making other plays in between the catalyst for Microvision in between now and then. And you guys can be too. If you guys want to get on my Discord team, send me a DM on Discord. All right, it's a $50 one-time pledge. Get you lifetime access to the to the to the team unless you act crazy which i'm just gonna say from now on <laughs> so uh but yes guys um keep an eye on the stock because i'm telling you we get above 975 and close with some momentum likely gonna run and i think i think we run at least up to about 12 30 12 45 uh somewhere up in here that's kind of the way it's looking if we get above the supply zone we're gonna run somewhere up in here uh towards this green line like i said between 12 30 and 12 45 maybe before we have a pullback which could pull us back down towards the supply zone before ripping up even higher so you know we break out we come back find support here and then make a higher move like that that's typically what happens you know there's going to be some variance in there but that's what we're looking to have happen here okay and uh keep your head up guys microvision is a great play you just got to be willing to hold through the bs and the manipulation and that's it guys that's it for today all right uh my voice is killing me so i'm going to go ahead and close the video off Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit that notification bell to get notified when I go live or drop a video. By the way, I'm going to be streaming a lot more here uh, in the next couple weeks. And also, guys, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, all right? Peace and love from my end, guys. Trey Mo James, signing up.